The printer on the left is my original 3D printer, the DaVinci 1.0. The one on the right is a low-cost CR10 Mini, which prints really great. I'm going to reprint some of my original DaVinci prints on the CR10 Mini and show you how far we've come in just three short years. All on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I often get emails from people asking if I still recommend the DaVinci 1.0a. I really don't. It's a closed source machine and it's old. It's over three years old, but you can still buy it from the DaVinci website for $500. I paid this same price about three years ago for my DaVinci back in May of 2014, and I had to fix a lot of things to get it to work right. I wanted to print one of these T-Rex skulls that was released around the same time I got my printer. But I knew my printer needed repairs, it needed a lot of things tuned up, and I shared all that on the videos that I have on my YouTube channel, and it really helped launch my YouTube channel, because a lot of people were having those problems. I finally was able to get my printer to print this skull, and I was really happy with the results. Now this was at a 0.2 layer height, 25% uh, fill I believe, and I had to print each piece separately because the bed wasn't big enough to hold all the pieces. Well now I look at this print and it looks rough to me. Even though three years ago it looked great, now it looks rough. So I wanted to see how this print would come out at a 0.3 layer height because I know 0.3 is a whole lot better than 0.2 back then and print it on my CR10 Mini and see how it would come out. Now the CR10 Mini, even though it's a lower cost printer, has a bigger build area so I could put all the pieces on a single bed. So I loaded them into Simplify 3D after everything was positioned, I clicked on Edit Process Settings. I selected my CR10 Mini Profile within Simplify 3D. 25% fill. I did a 0.3 layer height. Now some would say, well, I should have done a 0.2 to compare. My point is 0.3 today is a ton better than 0.2 was back then on this DaVinci. I did it actually at a 60 millimeters per second, not 80 here. And other than that, it's pretty standard temperatures for PLA. I am printing PLA, not ABS. ABS really needs an enclosed chamber. But that's all we really print with today now anyway, mostly is PLA. And it said it would take 11 hours and 22 minutes. So this was still a long print, even at a 0.3 layer height. The print actually took a little longer, like 12 and a half hours. So Simplify 3D was off. But it printed first time, no errors, no supports. I did use supports on the other one on a DaVinci. No supports and everything just printed beautifully. This was looking really good. And even though it's a 0.3 layer height, and this is a really cheap like $15 spool of PLA I had lying around. And the base, perfectly flat. Now that's another thing we've come a long way. We used to have to print with ABS back when I first got my printer, my DaVinci. Now we've got so many other choices. PLA is easier to print with. There's PETG or PETG, there's all kinds of other plastics we can use, but you can tell by looking at these close-ups that even at a 0.3 layer height versus a 0.2, this is a much better print on the modern day printer. Even on the sides here, you can see the ribbing that I thought was okay back then, I would not accept this now. The one on the right is so much better, and when you look inside, this is where you can really see the smoothness of the modern printer. So sub $500 printers have come a long way in the three years I've been using them. Another design I wanted to revisit was my Filament Friday sign. I did this on my DaVinci in ABS, but I had to do it in four pieces because the bed would not fit it. Now I decided to downsize it a little bit, but I also wanted to add my CHEP logo and the .com underneath it. So I went to Tinkercad where I originally designed it. I resized it a little bit smaller so it would fit on the CR10 Mini and it's really just two pieces the logo a white background and then I added the chep and .com to this one as holes and then grouped them together so they would go all the way through to the white and then once I grouped that I had my new plaque again this is gonna be a little bit smaller but I exported the .stl file and then brought that into Simplify 3D I wanted to print this in two colors so I created two separate processes in Simplify 3D the first process I did on the CR10 Mini, 25% fill, 0.3 layer height, 60 millimeters per second, and I told it to stop printing at 4 millimeters. So that should just give me the base. This is what I'll print. Here I'll show you when I 
slice it. This will be white. This whole thing will be white and it'll take six hours and 25 minutes, which seem really long, but that's how long it took. And then for the second process, this will be the red color. I did the same settings, 0.3, but I told it to start printing at four millimeters and then it'll print all the way to the top. And so when I print that one or process that one, You'll see it just shows the letters said it would take three hours and 31 minutes and you can see it's lifted off four millimeters so this will be printed right on top of the white so this will be the red filament and for the red filament i'm going to use this protopasta candy apple metal flake red this is a new filament and i love it it's fantastic this is one i suggested to him i just love this filament so i'm going to use that on the top of it and here's the finished result this came out so much better than the other one and it's all in one piece now it is a little smaller to fit on the bed but the crispness of the letters and the edges is so much better than the one that i had before i'm gonna replace the one on the wall with this so here it is like i said it's slightly smaller but it's just so much better looking and that red candy apple color on top it just glistens the camera cannot pick it up if i try to turn it to the side here I can see it, but I notice the camera just doesn't get it the way that I see it. But I love this candy apple red filament. So the DaVinci has been put aside. It doesn't really work anymore. CR10 is so much better. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I highly recommend just get a CR10 Mini. Don't get a DaVinci. So that's it for this week. If you like this type of thing, check out some of my other videos. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon is appreciated. And if nothing else, click on the Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.